Vladimir Putin's rise to power. The story behind Russia's leader. Have you ever wondered how Vladimir Putin, a quiet man from Leningrad, rose to become one of the most powerful leaders in the world? His journey to power is a fascinating tale filled with strategic moves, historic moments, and a desire to restore Russia's pride and influence. Let's explore his life, career, and the policies that shaped modern Russia. Russia in the 1990s, a nation in crisis. In the early 1990s, Russia was a country in turmoil. The Soviet Union had collapsed, leaving behind a struggling economy and political chaos. Poverty was widespread, crime rates soared, and many Russians felt their country had lost its power and dignity on the global stage. President Boris Yeltsin, who led Russia through this challenging time, was dealing with severe health problems and growing public dissatisfaction. His government was accused of corruption and failing to address the country's economic problems. People were desperate for change, and this created the perfect environment for a new, strong leader to emerge. Operation Successor, Yeltsin's plan for power transition. By the late 1990s, Yeltsin knew his time as president was coming to an end. Under Russia's constitution, he couldn't run for another term, and his health made it impossible to continue. But Yeltsin was worried about what would happen after he stepped down. He and his inner circle, often referred to as the family, feared that a new leader might investigate their actions and strip them of their wealth and influence. To avoid this, Yeltsin and his advisors launched a secret plan called Operation Successor. The goal was to find someone who would protect their interests while leading the country. They needed a loyal, competent and politically savvy individual who could win the trust of the Russian people. After considering several candidates, Yeltsin's team chose Vladimir Putin, a relatively unknown politician who had a reputation for being disciplined, loyal and efficient. Vladimir Putin's Early Life and Career Putin was born on October 7, 1952 in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg. He grew up in a communal apartment, sharing a small space with several families. Life wasn't easy, and young Putin often got into fights with other kids. He later said that these early experiences taught him the importance of strength and resilience. As a teenager, Putin developed an interest in martial arts and took up judo and sambo, earning a black belt. He also excelled in school and was particularly interested in history and law. After graduating from Leningrad State University in 1975 with a law degree, Putin joined the KGB, the Soviet Union's powerful security agency. Putin's KGB years, a master of strategy. Putin's work with the KGB played a crucial role in shaping his worldview. He was assigned to foreign intelligence and spent several years in East Germany, where he witnessed the collapse of communist regimes firsthand. During this time, Putin learned the art of gathering intelligence, analyzing political situations, and maintaining a low profile. One of his most significant lessons came in 1989, when crowds stormed the headquarters of the East German secret police, the Stasi, right across from his office. Putin tried to call for military backup, but received no help. This experience taught him that even powerful governments could crumble without strong leadership. When he returned to Russia in 1991, the Soviet Union was on the brink of collapse. Putin retired from the KGB with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel and began his political career. Climbing the political ladder, Putin's rise in St. Petersburg. Back in Leningrad, Putin started working as an advisor to Anatoly Sobchak, the city's mayor. Sobchak was a key figure in Russia's democratic movement and Putin quickly became one of his most trusted aides. He handled important tasks, including managing the city's international relations and attracting foreign investment. Putin's hard work and loyalty didn't go unnoticed. When Sobchak lost his re-election bid in 1996, Putin was invited to Moscow to join the administration of President Yeltsin. 
This marked the beginning of his rapid ascent to power. From FSB chief to prime minister in Moscow, Putin held various roles, including deputy chief of staff and head of the Federal Security Service, FSB, the successor to the KGB. His time at the FSB solidified his reputation as a reliable and effective leader. He took decisive actions against corruption and crime, which gained him the trust of Yeltsin and his allies. In August 1999, Yeltsin made a bold move by appointing Putin as prime minister. At the time, many Russians didn't know who Putin was, but that quickly changed. The Chechen war and Putin's popularity surge one of Putin's first major challenges as prime minister was dealing with the conflict in Chechnya. The region had been fighting for independence from Russia and violence was escalating. In September 1999, a series of bombings in Russian apartment buildings killed hundreds of people. The government blamed Chechen rebels and Putin launched a military campaign to restore order. The war was brutal but it showed Russians that Putin was a strong leader who wouldn't back down from a fight. His tough stance on terrorism and national security won him widespread support. By the end of 1999, Putin's popularity had soared, making him the ideal candidate to succeed Yeltsin. Yeltsin's resignation, Putin becomes acting president. On December 31, 1999, Yeltsin made a shocking announcement he was resigning as president and Putin would take over as acting president. In his resignation speech, Yeltsin said he believed Putin was the right person to lead Russia into the future. One of Putin's first acts as acting president was to sign a decree granting Yeltsin and his family immunity from prosecution. This ensured that Yeltsin's inner circle would be protected, fulfilling the promise of Operation Successor. The 2000 election, Putin's first term. In March 2000, Putin ran for president and won with a clear majority. His victory marked the beginning of a new chapter in Russian history. Putin promised to bring stability, rebuild the economy and restore Russia's influence on the world stage. During his first term, Putin implemented several key reforms he strengthened the government's control over Russia's regions, cracked down on corruption and reined in the oligarchs who had amassed enormous power during the 1990s. Putin's policies strengthening Russia. Putin's leadership focused on three main areas. One, political stability. He created a centralized government structure ensuring that the Kremlin had control over all major decisions. This included appointing governors and reducing the influence of regional leaders. 2. Economic growth. Under Putin, Russia's economy benefited from rising oil prices. He used this wealth to pay off national debt, increase state reserves and invest in infrastructure. Putin also pushed for the renationalization of key industries such as energy and banking. Third, military strength. Putin prioritized rebuilding Russia's military, which had been weakened after the Soviet collapse. He modernized the armed forces and increased defense spending, positioning Russia as a global military power. Challenges and controversies. Despite his successes, Putin's rule has been marked by controversy. Critics accuse him of undermining democracy, silencing opposition and limiting press freedom. High-profile cases, such as the imprisonment of oligarch Mikhail Khodorkovsky and the assassination of journalist Anna Politkovskaya, have raised concerns about human rights in Russia. Internationally, Putin's actions have often drawn criticism. His government's annexation of Crimea in 2014 and its involvement in the Syrian civil war and the Ukraine conflict have led to tensions with Western countries. Putin's long reign. Over the years, Putin has maintained his grip on power through constitutional changes, political maneuvering and public support. In 2021, he passed a law allowing him to remain president until 2036, 
making him one of the longest serving leaders in Russian history. This move was widely criticized by opposition figures and international observers who viewed it as a step toward consolidating authoritarian rule. Despite the criticism, Putin has consistently framed his leadership as essential for Russia's stability and security, ensuring his continued dominance in the country's political landscape. And that's the fascinating journey of Vladimir Putin's rise to power. His story is one of ambition, strategy, and resilience. From his humble beginnings to becoming one of the most influential leaders in modern history, Putin's path is both complex and captivating. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into history and world leaders. Let us know in the comments what topic you'd like us to explore next. See you next time.